Brand new to Season 4 of Cold War and Warzone is the Jackal Operator, which you can unlock straight away by purchasing the Battle Pass. You can then get access to unlock more skin variants for Jackal, which start with Perseus Mercenary Objectives, and then the Red Notice Objectives, which you can only do when you get to Tier 100. And just a little bit of advice when you are trying to complete any of these challenges, remember that you do need to have the Jackal Operator active, otherwise the challenges won't count. Now let's get into the specific objectives and what you unlock for each of them. So the first objective, which is available straight away, is get 25 eliminations using primary weapons. For this we get 1500 XP and the most wanted calling card. This challenge isn't too bad and can be completed on Cold War and Warzone pretty easily. On Cold War multiplayer you could get this completed in one game no problem. On Warzone it's a little trickier unless you went on to something like Plunder or Rebirth Island. For objective 2 we've got destroy 5 enemy vehicles or score streaks. For this we get the Death Stalker skin variant, which looks incredible by the way, and 2000 XP along with it. Again, in Cold War multiplayer this is very easy, you could just put on a secondary launcher and take down some UAVs, again, in one game wouldn't be too much trouble. On Warzone I can see this being a little trickier, because we can only destroy 5 enemy vehicles for this objective, so it will take a little bit more time. Again, I advise going into Plunder. Vehicles are used in every mode, but in Plunder you just get more more opportunity. So pop into plunder and put on some secondary launches and get straight to work. A little tip is really to put Amped on as your third perk, as this enables you to reload much quicker with a launcher. Alternatively, of course, you can put on some LMGs with some attachments which do extra damage to vehicles. The third objective is to get 10 point blank kills using shotguns, and for this we get 2,500 XP and the masked agent emblem. Shotguns are pretty popular in Warzone at the moment, particularly things like the Street Sweeper, so thankfully you don't have to stray too far off the meta. You can complete this in Battle Royale Warzone in a few games. Alternatively, again, Plunder is your best bet, as you just spawn in with your loadout and get to respawn. Thankfully there's nothing in here about chaining kills or getting kill streaks, so you can just get one point blank kill with a shotgun, die, spawn back in, get another and rinse and repeat until you've got it. And again on Cold War Multiplayer, there's plenty of maps and game modes to complete this in one game. My personal choice of shotgun would be the Gallo, but any will do really. Then lastly, for the first set of objectives, we've got get 25 eliminations while using the flak jacket or EOD perks, and then we get 3000 XP and the Sand Scorpion Jackal skin. The good thing about this objective is that it's just about eliminations. You don't necessarily have to take any damage with EOD or Flak Jacket on. You literally just have to have it equipped. I actually recommend using EOD as your first perk anyway. So you should complete this very quickly whether you have Cold War multiplayer and you're playing Nuketown or Hardpoint or something like that, or even if you're playing normal Battle Royale on Warzone. Of course on Plunder you will complete this that a little bit quicker, but either way it's not too difficult thankfully. Okay, now we're getting serious, now we're onto the iridescent jackal skin variants. These are all available at tier 100 like I say, and the first objective of the four is to get five kills with aerial score streaks or kill streaks. For this we get 1500 XP and the decimation calling card, not too bad, but really it's a stepping stone for the awesome skins. In Cold War multiplayer you're going to be able to do this with no problem really, as I'm sure in most games you put on score streaks and kill streaks that have the ability to kill from the air. In fact if you have a really good game and you get one of the top tier score streaks, then you can get all 5 kills in just that one life. In Warzone it's a little bit trickier unfortunately, as really we can only use cluster strikes or precision airstrikes, and these kills don't come around too often, but they do happen. This is where Plunder is our best friend really, and that's for a few reasons. Of course respawn are enabled so the lobby is full throughout the whole game, and then secondly cash is everywhere so we can basically buy kill streaks again and again. I would recommend going to hotspots of the map so that's either the new points of interest or player favourites such as Storage Town. You can literally go to the shop and call in precision after precision in these hotspot areas and you will pick players up. Alternatively, you can down them first, then call a precision on them. This is a little trickier because they might crawl away or give up or something like that. I think this one will be one of the most frustrating objectives to do, but stick with it. Thankfully, it's only get 5 kills, and I'm sure you'll get there soon. For objective 2, we've got kill an enemy from behind at point blank range with a pistol 
on one occasion. For this, we get 2000 XP and the Manta Ray Jackal skin, and oh boy, oh boy, am I excited. This is more about flair and telling everyone on the map you don't care if they can see you because you're going to kill them and then maybe go to a disco later. So thankfully, Objective 2 is very easy, whether you have multiplayer on Cold War or just Warzone. For Cold War players, again, they're going to complete this in basically one game on pretty much any game mode you do play. Even on Warzone Battle Royale, where you only have like one life and then the Gulag, you're likely to do this. I mean, straight from the drop from the plane, a lot of people are getting pistol kills from behind at point blank range. If you want to do it a little bit quicker, of course, Plunder is a great option. Even if you just fly to the end of the plane and kill the AFK players, get your one kill and then leave, that's that done, you don't have to worry about it. Objective 3 is get 5 kills with weapon score streaks, all whilst using stop and bow rounds. We get 2500 XP and the Apex Spirit Emblem. For Cold War multiplayer, this means things like the combat bow or the war machine. Very doable in one game, thankfully. And then on Warzone, it's pretty self-explanatory with the stopping power rounds. Stopping power rounds are much rarer in Battle Royale Warzone at the moment, so Plunder is our best bet, especially because we can choose the field upgrade before we even go into the game so we're guaranteed stopping power rounds. You can do this in one game of plunder very easily. Just fly straight into a hotspot area, my favourite is Storage Town at the minute, get your stopping power rounds on and get to work. Okay, here's our final, final one. It's get five kills without dying. For this, we get 3000 XP and the Copperite Jackal skin. This is the maxed out skin for Jackal. It's all gold, it's reactive, and I can't wait to get there. Five kills without dying is very doable. Just make sure you've got Ghost on, whether you are playing Cold War or you're playing Warzone to make it that little bit easier. Even if you have to get a little campy to get it done, I don't blame you. Five kills isn't too bad, and most of you will get this done in one game, even if you're just playing Battle Royale. So there are all the challenges for the Jackal Operator. There are a couple of tricky ones in there, especially if you don't have Cold War multiplayer, but hopefully the few tips I've shared here will help you out just that little bit. In fact, if they did, maybe give the video a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more Call of Duty videos, shorts, and streams. Bye for now.